Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on land division for polynomials. A lot of my students hate this one. I don't blame you. It is a tedious process. There are a couple of things you can do that would make it a little bit easier and make it a little bit bearable. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have spot for all the missing terms even. Okay, so 4, 3, you're missing a 2 k square term. So we'll put a zero here and k to the one and k to the zero. Okay, divide the same thing on this one, 5k squared. I'm missing a linear term and plus one. I'm gonna put a zero k in there. Okay. Now the reason I want to put a square uh, line up all the chairs out is that this one helps me determine the one, two, three. There are three terms. So I'm gonna be taking care of three terms at a time. And the first term is gonna go over here. Pretend this is a you're poking a hole on the roof. Okay, so the first term you're going to put in here in this box is going to be matching this leading term. Obviously, we need a 5 squared over there. Okay, so now multiply each one of them by that. 5, 25 to the fourth. I'm missing a 0. I'm just going to put it in here. And then I'm missing a 0 here on this one. But it, since I left a spot there, I can do my subtraction very comfortably. Now, this is in the next tricky step. So the first tricky step is leave all the spots. Okay, second tricky step is over here. When you do subtraction, may put a parenthesis here and vocalize it. That way it slows you down. So it's 25k to the fourth minus 245 to the k to the fourth. I have a zero here. This one, I have a 15k cubed because there's a minus zero. Now, this is where vocalizing helps. Zero minus 5k squared, I better have a minus 5k squared. Long division is one of those things that if you miss one spot, rest the stuff kind of crumbles. Okay, so you want to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, next thing I'm going to be matching this leading term, which I, of course I need a 3k. So I have a 15k to the cube, I'm missing a term here, and then plus 3k. Okay, I'm going to do my subtraction over here. This term goes away, minus 5, minus 0, minus 5k left out. 3k minus 3k, I have a 0. And then this minus 1 comes down nicely. See, once again, I still have my three terms to match those three terms over there. Uh, I need a minus 1 here because this matches my leading term and a minus 1. Hey, look at that. Everything matches out here. So I have a 0 here. Obviously, what we have then is this big long thing divided by 5k squared plus 1, and the final answer is equal to 5k squared plus 3k minus 1. Okay, of course, when time permits, especially on the exam, you want to really make sure to check the answer because when a test leaves your hand, you want to know for sure you got what you think you got. There's nothing worse than the surprises. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to check this one. And before we do that, I have a really beautiful uh, picture for where I am in Arizona. Look at this beautiful cactus. All right, back to math. Let's check our work. So 5k squared plus 1, 5k squared plus 3k minus 1. I'm going to multiply it up. I'll do the overhead, and then under, this is what I call underbelly, overhead underbelly. So the 25k to the fourth, that's the first overhead, plus 15k cubed, then minus 5k squared. Okay, I'm going to put the belly underneath instead of writing in the same line. The reason is I know I'm going to be combining them anyhow, so lining up the like terms make my life a little easier. Okay, this day and age, anything can make your life easier. Take it, right? So 25k, oh, this is not square, it's to the fourth. Okay. Plus 15k to the cube, plus 3k minus 1. That's exactly what we need over here. All right, I hope this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.